Dungeons and Daddies is a rowdy, horny, violent podcast for grown-ups. Basically, all the good stuff. That was a, my dad wrote a porno reference. Um, anyways, content warnings can be found in the episode description. Hey folks, Freddy here. What you're about to hear is a Patreon bonus one-shot we did called The Witch's Dead by Grant Howitt. For people pledging $10 and up on our Patreon, we do a thing called the monthly bonus of indeterminate content, and this was that bonus content for October. We've also done like videos, there's a 40 minute mini painting tutorial with Matt, there's a mini documentary about the recording of Silent Night for episode 9, there's even a commentary track we did for episode 1 of Bones, it's some wild stuff man. Now, normally we would not be putting these out into the wild, no sir, but we goofed because we've referenced what happens in this one shot in the main storyline because the witch is Aaron O'Neill. And honestly, we felt that it enriches the experience of listening to the main story enough that, well, everyone should hear it. And by the way, to make up for it, we're recording a replacement one shot for our patrons that will be up later this month in case those of you who are patrons are wondering. So for now, please enjoy this peek behind the curtain at some of the dope content our Patreon supporters get. You know, if you see one like out in the wild, thank them profusely for making this possible. And maybe consider becoming one yourself at patreon.com slash dungeons and dads. Sit back and enjoy. The Witch is Dead. And we'll see you next Tuesday for the next episode of Dungeons and Daddies. Welcome, listeners, to our bonus content for October, and it is a one-shot RPG made by Grant Howitt called The Witch is Dead. Grant Howitt's one of my favorite RPG designers. He does a bunch of one-page RPGs that are very rules-light but flavor-heavy, uh, and uh, we're going to play The Witch is Dead. So I didn't know. I'd say you were sponsored by Grant Howitt. Oh, man. No. Do you think he could sponsor you? I don't think so. I don't think there's a lot of money in making RPGs unless you're Wizards of the Coast, and even then, it's really hard to still make money. You need um, a thing called Magic the Gathering to keep it going. Exactly. Um, I don't know. I, I think like if I got a good night's sleep on a Casper mattress, I'd be able to <laughs> I'd be able to make an RPG. That's our only goal. The problem is we can't ever get Beth a Casper because then she'll just quit the podcast. Yeah, She'll've done no. everything she wanted to do. That's the that's the uh, carrot at the end of the proverbial stick. For, <laughs> Alexander uh, will see there are no more worlds to conquer. <laughs> no more beds <laughs> left to plug. Uh, and also, uh, you'll notice Matt not in on this one. Matt's taking care of some kids' stuff. It's so. because we don't like him. Yeah. No, he's he's like better than he's all doing of us. Actual- even stuff. bigger bonus because there's no man. <laughs> <laughs> Consider that your second bonus. Oh man. Okay. Uh, so I'm now going to read you verbatim the plot and backstory of The Witch is Dead. Ooh. Once upon a time, there was a kind and wise and beautiful witch who lived in the forest with her familiars, and her life was peaceful and happy until a fucking witch hunter broke into her cottage and dragged <laughs> her out and fucking murdered her, and now she's dead. But if you get revenge and kill him and bring his eyes to her corpse within a week, she'll come back to life. Or so you've heard. Even if it doesn't work, at least he's dead. The witch hunter has retreated to the village, the fucking coward. Go get him. <laughs> so you are all going to create your characters very simply. So there's a list of uh, woodland animals, and you're just going to roll a D10 and see what you are. So everybody roll a D10 and tell me what you get. I just rolled a D10. <laughs> Turns out. Turns I'm out. 100% magpie. All right. <laughs> magpie. Magpie. I'm, I'm also a magpie. Whoa, you really? all got magpie? Yeah, I got seven. crow. I got okay. a crow. Okay, so magpie crow. Uh, Beth, re-roll. I don't want to do the same thing. Oh, man, we'd be like a cool fighter squad. Uh, actually, I'll get it right. If you want to be a magpie, oh, you can't. I you... don't. Okay. <laughs> I'm an owl. Oh, okay. shit, even <laughs> better. <laughs> You're the fucking birds of prey. That's great. Okay, so circle whichever character you are or just remember. My uh, mom's so... going to be so happy she loves owls. She doesn't listen to this podcast, though. Uh, Is she make a Patreon her. subscriber? <laughs> no, hell no. Your mom should pay us. <laughs> So basically, uh, the gist of this game is that you have uh, nothing special about you other than the fact that you're woodland creatures and you can understand each other. So basically, there are four stats for every character, clever, fierce, sly, and quick, which basically are exactly what they sound like. And everybody's stats are fairly low. Those will give you bonuses when you roll for any individual particular uh, task you're taking. But all of you have a single spell that your witch taught you. And these spells are not very strong. They're basically just hedge magic. So roll a d10 again and then tell me which spell you got. Make flame. I got unseen hand. What does that do? It's like mage hand where you can sort of psychically like use a hand to like knock something over or open something or oh, cool. you know slap somebody, but not that I got hard. conjure dinner. Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. Great. I wish I had that. Actually, I do have that on my smartphone. It's called Postmates. <laughs> okay. We're also so, sponsored by Postmates. So <laughs> God, I wish. That's basically everything you need to know about your characters. What I am uh, going to do is roll to define the village and the witch hunter. So the village is... 
both at war with forest tribes mm. and incredibly superstitious. Mm. The Winch Hunter is headstrong and wild. And you know that he has retreated to his village. So basically it is now on you. You have one week to kill him, take his eyes and bring them back to your dead mistress. So we all get cool cartoon voices. Yeah, can I roll to see what dumb voice I do? <laughs> yeah, yeah, go ahead. Go right ahead, be my guest. Looks like it's going to be an Australian accent. It doesn't matter what you fucking roll. Australian was going to be the next goddamn thing out of your mouth, and you know it. Oh, it's going to be a six for me. Okay. What is that? Oh, it's an old owl Irish accent. <laughs> old Irish owl. Old Irish owl. I won't do. I won't do Australian in deference to my brethren. What? Down under. If I'm offending the Irish, which I love, like shout out to all of you guys in Ireland. Love ya. Um, I could also go as David Drambuie. <laughs> Hello. I am the magpie of the group. Okay. I'm going as David Drambuie. Whatever you want, <laughs> you weird, In weird joke man. for story break listeners. All right. So, Will, uh, what about you? I will be a fancy, sophisticated crow, don't you know? Beautiful. <laughs> We're going to summer on my yacht at Cape Cod. Basically, it is now on you to get to the village. There's no difficulty in getting to the village, so if you just want to go to the village and have me describe it, we can just do that, unless you want to come up with a plan before you show up at the village. Uh, now, see here, fellow birds. It seems to me that the thing to do might be to bait this forest tribe into attacking the village and thus drawing out the witch hunter. Maybe we can get the forest tribe to do our dirty work for us. Indeed. We. Oh, no, sorry. Indeed. These superstitious folks might frighten at the mere sight of flaming what's it's and what not's coming out of the forest at night. Like maybe we can spook them out and have them dig out the eyeballs of this witch under themselves. I don't know. Okay. Oh, man. Am I just, am I, is it too much? <laughs> I like no, it. it's fine. Um, More of that, please. <laughs> that was a, it's fine, but it's not I'll, fine. I'll, I'll take my drambuie with a splash of water. <laughs> <laughs> what if we created some kind of visage and I set it alight with my magics and we could burn these these square crows or whatever all around them and freak those villages out. Just get them freaked right out of their gourds. We should go to the village and see what's up with the witch hunter. Sure. Probably, right? Sure. We'll do a flyby pass, a little aerial recon. Oh, yeah, you can fly. Oh, wow. Yeah, we fly high above. So you fly high above, and you can see that this village is your typical sort of fairy tale village. They've got the baker, and they've got a blacksmith, and they've got a tavern. They've got all these cute, adorable little uh, homey spaces. But the witch hunter, you can immediately tell who the witch hunter is because there's a guy in the middle of the town square doing backflips and going, I killed a witch. I killed a witch. <laughs> Suck my ass because I killed a witch. And he's like fucking, he, he, he somehow has a skateboard. He's doing kickflips. He's headstrong and he's behaving headstrongly and wildly. Is he Jeremy Renner from whatever that movie that came out recently was? Like Hansel and Gretel witch hunters or whatever? Yes. yes. Okay. He looks identical to Jeremy Renner from Hansel and Gretel witch hunters, uh, except he's also do skateboarding. He looks um, like Jeremy Renner from Blade Renner. Yes. <laughs> he looks like Jeremy Renner from the app, Jeremy Renner. <laughs> okay. Um, should we... Okay, a couple of thoughts. So they're superstitious, right? They are superstitious. Very. Maybe we could convince them that the gods are angry with them oh. and they need to sacrifice the witch hunter. Every single time he's doing something, right? Something more impressive. What if, <laughs> what if we carefully assembled a, an assembly of twigs and stuff like that and it spells out, kick flips are bad. And we lit it on fire. <laughs> why, so do the, why does it say kick flips? Because he's doing kick flips. Look, look at him. He's doing these kicky flips with that skateboard. Oh, so we could, because I have made, all right, so what's your spell again? Uh, my spell is. Conjure dinner, right? Conjure dinner. <laughs> so we can make a dinner. <laughs> In his honor. How big a dinner are we talking? Uh, dinner for one. The witch would use it to make dinner for herself. Mm, yeah, these are little bits of hedge magic to help us around the house, but they'll have to do. Oh, what if the extremely superstitious village poisons the, the witch hunter in a sort of, um, I believe there was a place called Jonestown. Um, <laughs> in, in sort of a belief of a higher... Uh, oh, okay. What if we get this guy? He's headstrong. He's wild. He thinks quite a bit of himself. Mm -hmm. What if we start doing whispering into his ear a little bit? Uh, he can't hear us, right? No, he cannot understand animal speak. But if, there, if we can somehow convince him that he's the cult leader, his headstrong ways, combined with the superstitious nature of the village, means that they'll probably go along with him. Seeing as they're just letting him stand in the town square, they're doing kickflips and But we don't want them all to poison themselves. But if they do, the forest tribes will take care of him because he'll be no one left to defend the village. Because if he Jonestowns the village, it'll be just him. How are we going to get? How are we going to get him to poison? How are we going to poison this food? 
We can make the food. That's step one. Step two, as a clever magpie, I want to look around for all kinds of weird berries and shit. There's all kinds of fucked up f- mushrooms and berries that'll make you, make you all kind of, yeah. You Why know? don't you roll clever? So you're going to add whatever your clever score is. As a magpie, you're going to add two to your roll, and you're trying to beat a six. Four. So you don't find any poison. I have an idea. What? Now let's see here, Chance, and Lady Chance, and birds and Lady Birds. What say we poison an apple, and we apparate it in front of this superstitious folk? I can use my unseen hand to write out a message that says, A gift for the mightiest among you. And yeah. then he eats a poisoned apple and dies. True, true, true. And we could make we could make the villagers uh, help out with presenting this dinner in his honor, since they are so impressed. I like it. Okay, so if you wanted to do that, so we need to find poison, though, right? Well, you found that at least in the forest around you, nothing. there is nothing. Uh, if, you want, if you wanted to go further away, you could look for more poison there. But time may have passed, and stuff may happen in the I so much by the time you get back. Being birds and all, though. I believe. Lady Owl is the cleverest amongst us, so perhaps she should. You would think, wouldn't you? <laughs> there's, there's also a uh, there's also an apothecary in the village. If you could, if you wanted to try and go down and search for poison inside of it, it would just be obviously trickier because you're birds. I would like to do that, please. Yeah, we're gonna do another aerial recon of the apothecary. Okay, well, there's no windows on it, so all you can tell is that it is an apothecary, and you know that because you see villagers coming in and leaving with like little flasks of glowing, you know, blue or red liquid for health or mana. Yeah, if you want to get in, there's a couple of. I lied when I said there were no windows. There's a window on each wall, but they're all closed right now. And then there's the one door in and out of it. Mm. I've got it. I've got an idea. So one of us flies into the window, and whoever is inside will be like, well, the poor little bird, let me check and make sure it's okay. And then we can slide in when he opens the window. That's a smashing idea, I Hold on, say. hold on. So you're going to go into the thing? It's, yes, one of us oh, flies slams, into a wind- slams into the window and starts twitching around on the ground, and then the person opens the door to get in, and then while they're distracted by that, the other someone swoops in. Ooh, very good. Well... Who among us? Basically, what you're going to want to do is you're going to roll slide to see if you can slam yourself into the window without doing any damage to yourself. There's going to be uh, some danger involved, so if you fail, you'll take a point of danger. The only way you can ever lose this game is if you roll under or equal to the amount of danger that you have as a character. Ooh, clever. So I have, I think, the highest sly amongst us. Yeah, I think you're the sly one here. So I would like to slam my head into the window. Okay, so you're going to try to roll... Higher than a uh, six. With a plus a six two. six or higher with plus two. So you just got a four. So I'm rolling a d10? Yep. It's only d10 in this one. Ooh. I rolled a three. Okay, so mark down that you have one point of danger. So you slam into the, the window and it fucking hurts. Like you tried to like do a clever thing where you like splayed your whole body out and that so that it took the brunt of it equally across your body, but your back just fucking hurts. The window was closer than you thought. Yeah, the window was a lot closer than you thought. Ah, it's that glass. You can't see it when you're a bird. And they just invented that. <laughs> Those confabulating humans. Uh, so you, you smack the glass and you fall down and inside the uh, the... What would you call the uh, person who owns the apothecarian? The apothecarian. The apothecarian uh, turns and goes, Oh, dear, dear me! And uh, looks at the window and she goes, Oh, a crow flying into the window. That, that's, that, that's bad luck. That's, that's, a ba- that's bad luck. I'm, we're superstitious. That's very bad luck. Wolf. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Um, so roll um, clever to look really pathetic to see if she'll open the door for you. Seven. That's exactly what you needed. Woo. Okay, great. So she opens the door and goes, oh, uh, superstition be damned. And she opens the door and comes out and picks you up in her hand. So somebody's going to try to I fly could, in. I could see, actually, if the bird dies, it's a bad sign, right? So maybe she's trying to keep it alive. So it's like, oh, no, superstition. Oh, that makes a lot of sense. Yeah, yeah no, I, should, I, should, I, I have to make sure it stays alive, otherwise we're fucked. <laughs> we're proper fucked. Proper fucked. All right, so does somebody want to try to zip in? Yeah, we're, I'm, I'm going to zip in. All right, go ahead and roll quick. Quickness. You're trying to get an... Come uh, on, come on, get down. A nine plus two, 11. Great. Okay, I was going to say you had to beat an eight, and you beat it. All right, so you're inside. So why don't you roll clever? You're going to get one clever roll before she starts coming back in to find the poison. Okay. You have to roll a six. Eight. Eight, all right. So you find a very small vial uh, with green liquid inside of it, and a, uh, the vial has a skull stamped <laughs> on the outside And I know enough of, of humans to know that a skull is bad. I've seen it in the witch's hut. Great. You've spotted it now, so she's coming back inside, and she opens the door and sees you in there. And she goes, oh, birds, why, why so many birds? <laughs> and blackbirds, too. Blackbirds, lots of, lots of bad omens here. No, no, no. Oh, you, no, uh, I'm, I'm healing your friend back to life. It's, it's not my fault. I'm, I'm, I'm going to heal him, I promise. And so she walks to her potions and takes out a red one and uh, pours it all over you. Uh, uh, will. <laughs> yeah, she doesn't, you don't drink it. She just, like, uh, just applies it to you. So you don't currently have the poison in your mouth, and the door is closed, and the window is closed as well. So how are you going to get out with the poison? 
So mm. Beth's still on the outside. Correct. What if I like went and knocked on the window like Hedwig, like <laughs> like hi, let me in. Okay, you can do that oh. if you want to. Could she do that, and then I can use my unseen hand to, like, um... What if you use your unseen hand to knock over something flammable, and then I Ooh. lit this entire place on fire? Oh, my fire. God. Fuck these people. They killed the witch. You could do that. Now, unseen hand's always dangerous. Any magic is always going to be dangerous. Any magic is always dangerous. You'll have to roll at least a seven, and if you fail, you take another point of damage. And if at any point for the rest of the game you roll a one, you're fucked. Oh, yeah. I think you should knock on the... I'd knock your head on the window. All right, I go, knock, knock. Boom, boom. She turns, she goes, man alive, all these birds, what What have I done to upset the god? Oh, I knew, I knew we shouldn't have worked together with that piece of shit witch hunter Chad to kill that witch. <laughs> fuck, fuck, we are all in on it with him. Number one on the twist rules for the village, you know now. We are all in on it with him. We are all responsible <laughs> equally. Oh, shit. Do we have to kill all of them now? Uh, I think so. Uh, you don't have to kill all of them. But uh, yes, they will. Do. They will actively try to help him if you're it, it, like. Because the other versions of this is like, oh, the witch hunter's just some asshole who lives in the village, and if you kill him, nobody's gonna care. They will care if you kill him. Mm-hmm. She goes, oh man, alive. Oh, oh, why isn't this enough? Uh, 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 fuck it. And so she grabs Will and opens the window and then just tosses him out. She goes, I don't want any part of it, and uh, tries to throw you out of the window. So I sneak. I try to sneak in. Okay, go ahead and roll oh, sly. Shit. It'll be an eight because she's looking right at you. Nine. Nine, I'll be damned. Oh. All right, so you managed to sneak in just as she opens the door and throws Will out. Uh, okay, now what? I want to Burn help the magpie get the poison out. Down. Okay, so I'm outside right now. Yes. You two are inside. We're trying yes. to get the poison. Yes. I, I'd like to I'd like to do a clever to see if there's any flammable, like any, she's keeping anything flammable in yeah, there. Sounds right? good. Ooh, 10. Oh, wow. Okay, yeah. You immediately spot that there is a, uh, a, 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 a bunch a, of red barrels. Yeah, a bunch of, a bunch of red barrels in the, one big red potion barrel in the corner that has a, a little flame symbol on it. And you can immediately spot that is definitely flammable. Now, can I just knock that down? Uh, you'll have to roll uh, fierce to do it and she'll probably notice you doing it and try to, you know, maybe oppose. Okay. I We all have low what, fierce. What, what are you, what do you have, I've got an idea, but it's kind of like a long-term idea. But, Go for it. Okay, so what if we can get all of the villagers like around the witch hunter, and then one of us flies with the bottle of poison over them and sort of like just pours it on them? <laughs> like a mass poisoning. Yeah, and we can like corral them with our like bird power. Like we could be like bird sheepdogs and then like get them all together. Oh, you know what might be interesting is if we did that, but with flammability. Just burn down the whole thing. Just, just like douse everyone, and uh, we probably will be unable to lift this. Yeah, douse everyone you, in gasoline and then burn them. <laughs> the, whole, the whole barrel? No, it's basically like a small barrel of gasoline that is full. Two birds, even if you like yeah, rolled no amazingly, way. would probably not. You'd be able to tip it over. You wouldn't be able to like carry it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hmm. The poison vial is small enough that that you probably could carry it on your own with a difficult check, or if you were somebody worked with you with a less difficult check. Maybe we could recruit the uh, forest tribes to our aid. I think so. I think, like, again, I think the key to this is that these all, these motherfuckers all need to die. And we need to use the power of man's inhumanity to man in order to accomplish this. <gasps> oh, we could. Okay, hear me out. Maybe we could pilfer, like, some piece of scrap from a guard or, like, some sort of thing. Then we fly it out to the forest tribe. We drop our poisoned apple there. Oh, Someone shit. there eats it. And That's then they great. see like the sigil That's of the great. other tribe, and then they go in to wipe them out. We gotta take this poison then. We gotta you, we gotta get the poison. I like burning the um the hut down as a way of doing it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, or at least that's gonna get her out the door, isn't it? And then you guys can fly out the door. Yes. All right. I will knock over one of the barrels. Okay. I'm a, I'm a lofty big bird. So I'm gonna, gonna assist. Okay, so if you're both going to assist, so it's dangerous for both of you. Both of you have to pass a six test. Otherwise, there's going to be one of you had to pass a ten. Okay, so that's going to be a fierce, right? Yeah, fierce. Ooh, come on. Six plus one, seven. All right. I uh, crit failed. <laughs> okay. What'd you get? One? A zero. No, zero is a ten. A zero is a ten. That means oh. you crit succeeded. Yeah. Okay, awesome. So you successfully knock over the barrel, uh, and it hits the ground in just the right way that the cork in the top of it out and uh, gasoline starts like spilling out of it across the floor. Okay, so I'm going to use Unseen Hand to open the front door so you guys can get out. Great. So all you have to do is pass a, a six. Do I get any bonus to it? Uh, yeah, you're being clever, so yeah. I got a five. Okay, so take another point of danger. I croak if I fuck up one more time. Uh, no, it's just if you ever roll equal to or under your danger, you get in big trouble. Dead, trapped, lost, or captured. Um, so basically that's the only way you can die in this game is through danger. Crit 
10 on my make flame. On your make flame. Okay, cool. So you spark this pool of gasoline alight. And she goes, oh, fuck me. Fuck me, the fucking witch. Oh, the curses were true. Oh, why didn't we listen? No, no, no. And she immediately uh, starts trying to grab her most valuable potions into her arms, uh, which thankfully doesn't involve the poison because... Yeah, it doesn't involve the poison. Uh, and then she just kicks open the front door and starts running out with, with her potions going like, oh, we're being punished. We're all being punished. Fucking hell. Time to carry the po- carry the poison out. All right. Um, Either one of you make a, a, a fierce roll. I got another 10. All right, so you just put it in your strong owl talons and you can fly away with the poison. So you have the As poison. As I fly now. over her, I say, who's your daddy now? <laughs> <laughs> okay, calling an audible. We could, because it seems like she's pretty freaked out about this thing burning. We could use her as our hype man, essentially. And we could write out, feed this to the witch hunter and all is forgiven, right? Or Or just obey the bird. (laughs) (laughs) No, that's true. Obey the bird. Then we could just point at shit. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But the danger is they may think that like we're ill omens. They may try and kill us. Birds, the word. And remember, they are in on it with Chad, the witch hunter. They like him a lot. So it might be hard to convince them to do that you'll have to roll you can still do it the difficulty will just be higher than it would have been if they didn't give a fuck no that's right i think I, you know what i do i think we got to involve these forest tribes okay should we go sail to the forest tribe lands yes i think so so you fly uh, a little bit of ways into the forest lands where the bandits of the leaf the the leaf bandits uh make the their sticky home. bandits the sticky bandits they all look like daniel stern that's the <laughs> muta- genetic mutation that they have if they're already against the village can't we just be like guys hey the we vi- just destroyed their apothecary. Well, anybody roll clever. All three of you roll clever. Just try to get a six or higher. I got it. Seven total. Eight. Five. You hear them say like, shit, that witch, they killed the witch. The witch was giving us our like, our, some of our fucking powers for like raiding them all the time. She must be dead. That fucking sucks. Uh, I guess we should like leave. I don't know. Fuck. Uh, I thought we were really going to take the town. What a bummer. Mm, um, it feels like we need to encourage them sh- in. Sh- sh- should we... I know I keep pitching writing something in the fucking dirt. No, um, I dig that. I dig yeah. that. We could tell them that they're, because the apothecaries, where they have their potions and stuff like that, like we could say they're weak now. Yeah. Like the time is nigh attack or something like that. I mean, right, like if you write attack now in the dirt with your beak or whatever, do you think they'd pay attention? Do we see the, let's see the leader. Do we see the leader of these groups of people? Does that, he look like Joe Pesci? Yeah, he looks like Joe Pesci. It's <laughs> all Daniel Stearns and one Joe Pesci. <laughs> in the land of the Stearns, the Joe Pesci is king. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, you see Joe Pesci. My only worry now is because they're already spooked. If one of them dies, they'll definitely No, bolt. we shouldn't be killing them. No, I don't think um, so. But we need to get the distraction. We need to oh, get them can, in there. Mm, we could convince them that the witch is still alive. Oh, uh, okay. Do you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, 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 yeah. Like the, with our little cantrips and stuff, we could be like, I yet live, attack, and I shall, you know, yeah, assist yeah, 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 yeah. thee. It's like we're the bird emissaries for the witch. The flying monkeys. So I feel like we... They're they're on our side. I think we should approach Joe Pesci and like, and you should write out your stuff. Now hold on. Do we have? Do we understand enough language to be able to write something, or is it just like Mage Hand just just pushing stuff around? You can understand language because the witches like talk to you enough. That basically, it's just saying that you can't open your mouth and have English come out unless you have that cantrip. Right. 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 Okay. But you can you know spell stuff in the dirt with your beak or whatever. I see. You want. Okay. 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 Do I want to do that just by writing with my beak, or you know the? Oh, show the magic. Otherwise, they're just gonna believe. Yeah. Some exactly. Weird I think magic they need bird. to see us do some magic, and then they'll think. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So you write friend of witch in the in the dirt. <laughs> you fly in front of Joe Pesci and you see a stick nearby, I assume you want to like unseen hand it and start writing. Uh, roll, yes. Roll clever. It's it's gonna be dangerous if you fail, so uh, just try to get a six or higher. Yeah, I rolled a one, it's plus a uh, clever is two, so it's plus three. Great. Okay, so yeah, yeah, that's fine. You're okay. good. So what do you write out? Uh, I write out I yet live follow my birds. No, follow and it's just an arrow to me. <laughs> and yeah. I'm like, hey. And you're waving with a wing. <laughs> what, what? And then I draw an arrow pointing to Freddy and Beth. <laughs> XOXO witch. <laughs> <laughs> Joe Pesci's like, she's still alive. That's crazy. We don't I don't I don't feel the power anymore. That's that's but I then I, I finished by saying the power was in you all along. <laughs> <laughs> and Daniel Stern goes, No, look, the power's in us all along. And Joe Pesci's like, oh, what a nice little lesson. Oh she oh, I missed that witch already. No, wait, she's alive. I just that's what I learned. <laughs> Everything's great. Everything's perfect. Okay, I guess. Well, what do you want us to do? So Birds? I would say follow. We're, I think we Boids? should follow the points. We should lead them to like the edge of the clearing if there's an overlook of the village so they can see that there's a fire 
like probably at this point engulfing the entire apothecary building mm-hmm. at this point. Okay, so Joe and the Pesci's follow you <laughs> to a clearing basically, and they can see that yeah, the apothecary is just lit the fuck up. One of the Daniel Stearns is like, oh, holy, wow, okay. Did you, who did that? Was it the witch? Is who? the witch in there? Who? What do you want us to do? I think we need them to attack on uh, mass. Yeah, now. yeah, yeah. How do we send them that message? Attack, exclamation point. Okay. You'd have to roll again for the magic. Okay. Do, or, or you could just draw it on the ground, I guess, now that you've proven that you're... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, I just write it on the ground. Attack. Attack. XOXO witch. XOXO witch. We'll just roll normal clever. It's not dangerous, but roll clever to see if you can convince them. God, another one. All right, it's fine. So three. I can roll a three. Okay, so you failed, but uh, uh, it wasn't dangerous, so it's, it's fine. Yeah. And, the, and so so one of the, the Daniel Stearns comes up and goes, well, I don't want... Why would we do this? This is... We could just leave any time we want to. I don't, I'm not going to listen to a bunch of fucking birds. <laughs> just, <laughs> shut up. Uh, why, don't, why don't we just bounce? I don't like this. This is It's already on fire. These guys were assholes. I, I want to kill them as much as anybody. Can but I like, poison I don't know. that guy specifically and then hope that the rest of them will just like... You can try to. I mean, you're still <laughs> holding the poison. So Yeah, I pour, I pour a little poison on him. So All right. I feel like you wrench his head back and then I pour poison down his throat. Okay. So both of you roll fierce. Yeah. This is definitely dangerous. Yes, seven plus one, eight. I got seven. Total. Damn. All right. <laughs> <laughs> And this guy, this is stupid. I don't think we should listen to. <laughs> and then, all, and all of a sudden, his, your fucking talons go into the scalp, his scalp at the back of his neck, like the woman from the staircase, and you just fucking pull him, his head back. <laughs> the woman <laughs> from the staircase. I was like, no. I was like, I wonder who that's for. Uh, uh, <laughs> And his, he goes, what the fuck? And as his mouth is open, you uncork the poison and empty, like, the whole bottle into his, his Pour throat. Pour some poison on <laughs> it. Uh, and he goes, like, oh, fuck. Ah, 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 and foam begins, he begins to foam with the mouth, and his veins start popping out, and he just goes <laughs> red, and then he just falls to the ground dead. And I turn to look at the rest of the villagers, and I say, who? <laughs> <laughs> and they go, you know what? We will attack. You know what? Yeah, you, I think you convinced us. That sounds great. We'll do it tonight. We'll do it right now. So Joe and the Pesci's run out with shitty little sharpened sticks and uh, little knives and stuff like that. They're not super well equipped. They don't have a lot of armor. A dozen or so of these forest bandits start uh, running at the village. Yeah. There's some fighting uh, that happens. Uh, they- I figure the village is lightly weakened by the fact that some of the guys are probably busy trying to stop the fire from spreading, right? Yeah, some of the some of the people basically that would be their warriors are, are picking up pails of water and trying to throw them on the fire. Uh, the main thing that you notice is amongst all the fighting, Chad the witch hunter comes out and goes like, what the fuck? I thought, Bro, oh, oh, this is bullshit. This is bullshit. And he takes off his shirt and under his shirt, he has a bunch of knives like in a bandolier across his chest and he just pulls that to him and then just runs into the fracas and starts stabbing these bandits left and right and he's doing a really good job. Okay. He's like killing like one with each blow. I've got an idea. Yes. So I'm gonna take the rest of the poison and then uh, make dinner, but instead of like dinner... did you use all the poison on this guy? I didn't think so. That's why I did it. I didn't think I was gonna use all of it. We'll say you didn't use all of it. Okay, That's cool. <laughs> just the mildest drop of poison left. Um, <laughs> Is it like enough that I wouldn't kill him, but it's just, just like a little indigestion? It'll, it'll make him vomit for a while. You always know, say right. you make, you summon the food in the poison bottle. That's what I, yeah. And then it pops the poison bottle, so whatever coating was Like in Superman was Returns. Left. Yes. Uh, I don't remember that part of <laughs> Superman Returns, but sure. And so it's still coated with the leftover poison. That's in great, the that's great. Yeah, yeah. But the food that I want to make is a pie. Okay. And then I want to fly and then hit the witch hunter right in the face with a pie. I want to pie him. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> Straight out of Nickelodeon. You okay. can't do that on podcasts. <laughs> oh, wow. I don't know. <laughs> Uh, okay, so roll uh, clever to do the magic. Eight. Okay, so you successfully create a pie inside of the bottle of poison, and it quickly gets so big, psh, it just shatters the bottle, and shards of glass and poison go everywhere, and you dodge most of it. But you can definitely see a thin film of light green glowing uh, video game status effect poison all over the entire <laughs> pie. I'll put the shards of glass in it, too. Why not? <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're going to add to it. Add some shards of glass Fantastic. To it. Okay, so and if I'll you want to... spit in it. If you, <laughs> we, all, we all take big bird dumps in it, Anthony. All right. We all poop hard in this pie. I'm so happy. <laughs> so we all good. void our bowels right into the filling of the pie, Anthony. What do you think about that? Is that cool enough for you? And we pee, too. We poop, poop and pee. It's birds, bird poop it's the and same, bird yeah. pee. Birds put both of them in the same chunk. But yeah. Do they really? Yeah. That's fascinating. It's one yeah. tube, baby, and yeah. it's going right in this pie. That is so efficient. The pie is fairly heavy, loaded down as it is with poop and pee and glass and poison. <laughs> um, so one of you just carrying it on your own, you're going to have to roll a nine I think this is a triplicate I th- effort. Yeah, I think we do the flying V. <laughs> the flying V. Crack. Right. 
So all quack, of you have quack, to roll quack, 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 uh, quack. at least two of the three of you have to roll a six fierce to make this work. Come on. Can I um, use my spell? Oh, yeah, that'd be great. Yeah, yeah. Is this dangerous for me to do this? Using a spell is always dangerous, okay. and flying into this guy is also dangerous. Okay. I rolled a two. I got a six. All right, I got a six. Okay, great. Oh, that was very close. Freddy, you're... you're Magpie can't quite hold on to it as you get close. I'm just like, it's a pie. It's a pie, a and pie. it's hard to hold on to. I'm a pie. This is a <laughs> yeah, pie. Yeah. Uh, and, and basically, one of the guards of the village smacks you out of the air, just right next to sees the pie is coming, and goes like, oh, what's that? And smacks, and you get out of the way. I, the, I take a danger there, yeah. Uh, yeah, you take a danger because you failed. But the other two of you managed to successfully maneuver this fucking pie right next to Chad. And uh, as he turns around, having successfully killed uh, Joe Pesci and no! destroyed their leaders, he goes like, I'm fucking Chad, and I kick ass! And as his mouth is open, the pie slams into his fucking face. It, like, hurts a lot, and he goes like, Oh, shit, uh, some of it went down my mouth. Not enough of it to kill me, maybe, but a whole lot. Oh, fuck, and my eyes are burning. Shit, fuck. So, and he's cut on his face and stuff like that, and he basically drops both of his weapons and is, like, clawing at his face to try to get this pie and all this glass and shit out of his face. He's uh, very distracted, certainly, if there's anything else he wanted to try to do. You remember in Home Alone when he steps on the nail? Like, yes. uh, we could lift up one of his knives. Oh, and and then oh, wow. make him step on it. Like, maybe you light his pant leg on fire. Ooh, yeah, I'm going to try and cast flame on this pant leg so that he scurries about and tries to stomp it out. And in the stomping motion, That's you're going to try and, and slip a knife underneath his yeah. head. Behind him, I want to set the skateboard so that he steps on the oh, skateboard. Shit! Oh, my God. <laughs> shit. Holy shit. Okay. So, uh, Beth, you roll sly. Okay. Uh, uh, Freddie and, and Will roll clever for your parts of this. And it, it's all dangerous. I got a six plus one, seven. I got a uh, 11. Oh, no. Two plus two, four. Four. Uh, so that's not going to be enough. So you take another point of danger. So the skateboard is perfectly set up and the knife is perfectly set up, but he's not stomping around. He's still staying there stationary, trying to get the shit out of his face. Uh, you try to make the fire come, but it just peters out on his on his leg. It's not flammable. It doesn't enough. catch. It doesn't catch. <laughs> I saw a documentary called The Staircase, where an owl proved very dangerous. <laughs> so I'm and no one believed it. <laughs> no one thought an owl was involved. They didn't even mention it on the documentary. You had to listen to the podcast after the fact. I still don't believe an owl was involved. <laughs> um... Oh, are you going to slam into him? Yeah, I fly like talons first into his eyes. Oh, shit. Okay, roll fierce. Definitely dangerous. I got one. <laughs> one. That's your first point of danger, so mark that down. Yeah. So you come at him, and like even with all the pie and the glass in his face, you can feel the wind of your wings approaching, and he just reaches out with a fist and just decks you in the face and, and sends you careening off course. Oh. Oh, dang. Um, What do you got, Freddy? I was going to just like, seeing as I screwed up the thing and seeing my pal, the owl... <laughs> take a hit i was gonna fly around take a big looping arc and try and bullet his dick <laughs> like you know go straight at this dingling so go ahead and roll cleverly i feel like it's definitely not clever uh i think it might be quick because you're trying to go for speed into the dick rather than than fierceness i feel like so you can roll quick if you want okay. quick quick or fierce it's up to you quick quick in the dick okay, it's definitely dangerous <laughs> also. two plus two four Ooh, that's another failure. How many danger points did you have? I had two. You get another I'm point go of three. damage. So then you have to another, roll higher than danger. a three. To... Yeah, or yeah, the, yeah, the yeah. end result has to be higher than yeah, three yeah. even after the bonuses. Yeah, yeah. So he feels you coming too, and you're yeah, coming straight at his dick. He's got his dick. And, Ch and Chad is just like, don't nobody fuck with Chad's dick, but Chad! And he like kicks forward with one of his feet. <laughs> yeah, I'll and then say. Just, bah, just hits you out of the air and then puts his foot right back down where it was, not onto God a knife. Damn it. Oh, I was going to say, can I try to move the knife? Yes. Oh, yes. Okay, okay, real clever again. Again, it'll be dangerous. Uh, yes, I got an eight. Oh, perfect. Okay. <laughs> so with an eight, he moves his foot up, kicks the magpie away, and then puts his foot right back down and slams it down on the ground with so much confidence, having protected his dick, and the knife goes straight through his fucking <laughs> foot. Oh, and it's like an army of darkness when he's like... <laughs> Um, and uh, he he just stumbles to the ground and he's bleeding and everything and there's a couple of uh, there's two Daniel Sterns left in the uh, in the gang and they're currently having fights with some other guards and stuff like that but like yeah the guy is on his back he's he's pretty damn close to fucked and at your mercy I'm gonna I want to try to do an owl skateboarding move and grind him <laughs> <laughs> roll sly okay. <laughs> Uh, five plus one, six. 
great. Yeah. Lights out, Gorilla Radio. <laughs> <laughs> so you perfectly grind him. You get fucking, you Where know. Where did his skateboard come from? He made he it. Said he had a skateboard. It was his. He, oh, that's yeah. right. He had a skateboard. Yeah, that's it was right. his. Yeah, yeah, it was, yeah. It's just a, a wooden plank attached to four wooden circles. So it's not great. But you definitely, you get on and you like pedal with your other talent, like get some speed up. And then you fuck, what kind of grind do you do on him? I do a board slide. All right, you do <laughs> a fucking brutal board slide across his body. And it like, boom, it like hits his face and, and drives the glass deeper into his oh. skin. And then it hits him on the uh, on the dick, which he was like, "No, that's what I was trying to avoid this whole time." Uh, and uh, you do even you do even more damage to him, and he's basically uh, he's he's looking pretty. Fucking and I land bad. switch, and I say, "I stuck that." <laughs> <laughs> you, yeah, you get the points. No, no, I, no mystery. I say, "Ow, let's grab this skateboard, fly up as high as we can on it, and drop it on his head." Oh wow, that's fun. I was gonna say summon a fucking apple in his mouth and make him choke to death. Oh my god! Also very good. Ooh, I like the skateboard move though. Live by the board, die by the board. Yeah. <laughs> the board, die by skater, die. Uh, this is a big drop in. <laughs> right. So because he's completely incapacitated, whatever role this is doesn't involve danger. So you can just roll fierce to see if you can. I think I assist drag on the, the fierce. I'm going to assist as well. Okay, two or three of you have to be a six. Oh. Four plus one, five. Yeah, I got five. I two. got a five too. Unfortunately, the the skateboard is just too, too dank. It's, it's slick with pie and blood, so it just kind of evades your grasp. Yeah. He's still on the ground though. He's still basically helpless. No grip tape on it. That was. A problem um yeah. this is kind of grisly this, every time it seems like it always gets to us having to brutally execute an incapacitated yeah. person that is the one thing that's fun about the witch is dead though is that every game of the witch is dead is like that because you're because <laughs> you're just a bunch of stupid animals who can't do anything so anything you're going to do to a guy is going to take a while and oh, it's going to be death man. by a thousand cuts what if we guided these two original daniels into him like if we flew over and like we can go try to him. there's two more daniels we could try to recruit them to our cause yeah okay are they in fights with people right they are, now they are currently in fights with the bartender and the blacksmith i will fly into the face of the uh bartender to try and like distract them enough that these guys can get an upper hand okay i think two of us need to tussle with the other two yeah and then one of us can lead the other ones away great so okay. whoever is rolling to distract the fighters uh you're gonna roll me fierce and you're gonna try to get at least an eight Oof. whoever is uh trying to convince uh the daniels to follow them roll me a clever and you need to give me a seven at least i'll do clever because i have advantage on that. yeah and i okay. guess i have to do fierce Ooh, yeah, these are hard fierce. rolls here we go and seven plus one eight holy shit well done i got five total I got a three, which is the matches my danger levels. I mean, I could capture. That means you get captured. That oh no! Means, that means the blacksmith sees you coming at him, and it's worse than getting captured. He fucking sees you coming, and he just slices one of your goddamn wings off oh, no! with his sword, and blood is shooting out. And like, you're still, you know, you can still talk to your friends and stuff like that, but like, your flying days are over. That said, one of that one of the Daniels gets away. Right? One of the Daniels does get away from his guy and starts running, but you weren't your clever wasn't good enough to get his attention, right? No. Okay, so you're gonna have to try again to, to, to get his. He's just sprinting away because he feels like he's losing the fight. Does he have a hat or a toupee? Absolutely. Or? Does he have a toupee? Absolutely. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> he has a forest toupee made of twigs and moss. Um, I want to grab the toupee off of him. All right, uh, roll quick. Oh, I rolled a three. Damn. So the toupee just evades. It's so good. It's That's so good it's so life like you don't know what is real hair and what's fake hair, and you grab real hair instead. That should grab his attention, though. No, he just he just keeps running because he's so scared. All right, can I do anything, or am I down for the count? You can do anything that doesn't involve flying. Let's say. Oh no. Okay, I still have my mage hand. So, um, can you fly with the unseen hand? Can I lift myself up with it? <laughs> can it be like unseen wing? <laughs> That's really funny. Yeah, you can Explain do that. Explain that, Daddy Master. Yeah, it'll be this, Daddy Master. It'll be dangerous because it's magic, but yeah, you can try to do that. Unseen lift, if you wing. fuck up, he's good. Your own mage hand is going to crush you and kill you, and you'll oh, be out of it. Oh, God. All right. Okay. Um, in that case, I think we got to work on this one who's fighting, right? Yeah. Um, I'm trying to think if there's something I can do with mage hand to help get him out of the fight. You like, could. I could, could I use Mage Hand to tie the guy's shoes together? Uh, yeah, okay. you can do that. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use it to tie the shoes together of the guy who's fighting the danger. Okay, I need at least an eight clever. God damn it, I got a fucking four. So that also matches your current danger level, right? Because you failed last time and got another danger? Yes, I suppose it does. Okay, so uh, you get like really close and try to Mage Hand the guy's uh, shoes together, and then he just step back and just fucking stomps you and just oh! crushes you under a heel. Oh, no! And unfortunately, you are dead. You can still, like, give theories and stuff with these people, but in terms of being able to act, you are, you are gone. My spirit is with you. Yes, you are obi we need to. Form. I think we need to take his corpse and stuff it down Chad's throat. Or, I am a woman owl. Can I lay an egg into this man's throat? <laughs> sure. 
Sure. Uh, Should I just roll nature? <laughs> yeah, Woman, I guess you womanhood? roll sly, I guess. <laughs> you got one in the chamber, huh? <laughs> <laughs> you need to roll a nine sly. Uh, I got six. Not right, enough. Not, not quite good enough. So you stand um, uh, you stand on his fucking mouth, and you're just trying to make it come, but it just can't. It just won't, it just won't fucking come. Uh, I'm just gonna try, know I'm gonna that feeling. I'm going to try dragging the corpse of uh, our good crow friend over. All right, roll fierce. Make him eat crow. Oh no! Two plus one. I'm dangered. I hit three. All right. So you try to you try to pull him away, and you two get stomped. You're not. It's not enough to kill you, but like breaks a wing. It I think. definitely breaks a fucking wing underneath you, and you're like fuck. And uh, so get another. You also get another point of danger for the failure. I'm going to drag myself into his throat. Oh wow! Oh shit! Oh wow! <laughs> like okay. with one wing, like son of a bitch. All right. Uh, just roll. Roll whatever you like for that, and all you have to do is beat a six. Probably quick, clever, maybe quick. Sure, sure. One of those two. Let's see. Here we go. Come on. Come on. Eight. All yes. Right. So you managed to worm your way into his open mouth as he's gagging. And I on continue, and I just put one feather ahead of the other, oh, and I man. keep pulling. So you just get inside of his fucking neck, and you just extend your wings, and like his esophagus is already so contracted from the poison that within 15 seconds of you doing that, you have managed to suffocate and kill the Wait, witch hunter. I've got a, I've got like one last death blow that I feel like I could add, Do and it. I don't even think I need to roll for it. Do maybe it. I make dinner eat it and then feed it to him <laughs> like, a, like, a bird. like a baby bird <laughs> yeah <laughs> feed it to so, him yeah. violently Freddy, as you're in there you feel vomit hitting your back <laughs> i'm like what the fuck <laughs> <laughs> okay so yeah he is dead now now you just got you got to get his eyes and get gone i'll just try to get his his eyes with my little talons okay go ahead and roll fierce get 10 Oh, okay, oh, fantastic. Two with one. Yeah, with two beautifully uh, uh, aimed talon scratches. Whoop, whoop. He just doesn't have any fucking eyes anymore, and they're just in your goddamn talons. Fly! Fly like the wind! Freddy, see if you can get out of that I throat. think I'm dying in this throat. Two, I die. Yeah, you just die in his throat. Wait, I set yourself on fire in his throat before you <laughs> before, go. Before, yeah, yeah. A phoenix. Yeah, that's right, yeah, yeah. <laughs> instead, of, instead of trying to get out, I attempt make flame inside his throat, and I make flame on myself. Nine. <laughs> so you fucking, you set yourself on fire within him, and uh, with the very last ounce of life he has in his body, he feels himself burning from inside. He goes, not cool, bro. Not fucking cool. <laughs> and uh, he fucking dies. You have managed to escape with his eyes. You come back to the witch's body. You put the eyes on her. She comes back to life. She's so fucking jazzed that this guy is dead. As a thank you for all the work for her woodland creatures, she revives both Will and Freddy. It's a little bit more complicated because Freddy keeps dying inside the guy's corpse <laughs> after they bear. He keeps suffocating over and she keeps being like, why has he not come back yet? It's been like weeks. And they're like, oh, fuck, he was inside of his body. So they go and they dig up the body and then cut open his throat and then Freddy is free. Oh. Uh, but uh, yeah, you've successfully avenged the witch. Congratulations, and then I, you I win. I go get the skateboard too, and then I become a, prof a professional owl skateboarder. Yeah, if this was like a movie. It'd be like the last frame is like you skating towards camera and doing a kickflip and like freeze frames. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Tony Owls. Yeah, <laughs> Tony I was like, Owls pro skater. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. All right. Well, that was the witch is dead. If you liked this, you can always. I think you can download a, a version of it for free online. Just Google "witch is dead" Grant Howitt, um, and he's got a bunch of other really good ones like Honey Heist and all that stuff. So yeah, check him out. Thanks, y'all. Thanks for listening. Bye.